we're dragging the old loader back in here. This is the section we're going to try to get. We got the loader hooked to the skidder. The, uh, while we got good weather, as you can see, this is dry as a popcorn fart in here right now. So this is good. Especially for the eastern shore, this place is wet. But we're going to try to get this back piece done. That way, uh, before this corn pops up, see right now, this is all planted, but he left this kind of a road through here. But before this all gets planted, we're going to have to get out in it a little bit with the trucks. So before this all gets planted, then we got to run the corn over and mash down corn hooks bad. So we're on. But I think a day or two we'll have this back piece done. It looks like we're going to get a good week. Looks like we ain't going to get no rain this week, which is good. So we'll get on back here and get the loader set and uh, try to get some trees cut. Keep her moving. We're uh, getting rolling here this morning. We loaded the truck. We got the uh, old 500 eye. That's a big old tree there. I didn't take any video yesterday cutting with it, but I'm going to tell you what, this thing, she's on point. We cut some pretty big white oak and red oak yesterday, and uh, I'm impressed. I I didn't uh, I didn't think it was going to do it, but she does good, man. This tree here is leaning way up out over across the field. I'm going to try to slide it sideways. We're going to cut it three-quarters of the way off or something, maybe get the skitter to push it if it don't pull. I'm waiting on my man to get a walnut. There's a walnut tree laying down in there. I cut it's down in that big stick in here. Makes it tough to see what the trees are doing, but it is what it is at this point. I'm gonna try to get some video today cutting with this saw. We got a couple walnut on the edge of the field to get. So I'm gonna, I gotta kind of get this little area buttoned up. And then once we get into some better timber over there, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll get some cutting video. Jump her right down in that hole, I think. Might have to cut that dead one just to be safe. But it's a good one for the 500 to try out on.
Second landing. There, are, I guess there was three loads come out of that landing. Right, well, you drove around the field there, went all the way around. There was three and a quarter maybe come out of there. Then we move over here, and I finished out. This is what's left. So there's probably a load come out to this landing. It's like I said, we're gonna bounce around a lot. Kind of stinks. You gotta do that, but. Sometimes that's how it works. You know, these farms down here on the shore, they're any good ground, they pretty much clear cut it and it's crop fields. So it's, uh, you know, in the woods it's left, it's just kind of scattered out. It's little patches here and there. And a lot of times, most of it's a swamp. You know, it might not be a swamp or it's, get this piece of bark, lays wet or it's, in some sort of buffer area so you know you can't cut it but it's you know it's just woods low line area or steeper stuff that, i mean not steep stuff that they don't typically farm down here they look in here and make sure i got enough supposed to be about 60 pound on my air gauge here yep a little bit over 60 we're good Pull this old girl up out the way. And we gotta jump in the tool truck and go way over there. We gotta go up there by the house and back down. Come in that way. It's... Get pulled up here. Good 
it to dry. We're going to get all these other spots done. And that spot there, they're going to bulldoze it all off and dig all the stumps out and plant. I think he said a food plot for the deer or something. spot over there if it does go on and get wet on us we can we can kind of tear it up a little bit they're gonna you know like I say grade it and dig the stumps push all the brush away so uh, let's walk back here get the service truck drive on around the field Hey, where's the truck over there? Way over there. See, this is why we want to try to get this part, these parts done before we get into any wet weather. Seems like anymore when it rains, it pours and stays wet for a while. We're getting a pretty good stretch of dry weather now, so we're taking advantage of it. But, yeah, we're coming out around the edges of these fields like this. That's, you'll never get a truck in here because it gets wet. up here somewhere. A whole bunch of walnut in there. It's on the neighbor's property though. We're gonna truck out this road up. Look the buzzards. Look at the buzzards. Must be something dead in there somewhere. bit of a pain though it drops off real steep down in there i mean it drops way off like it's a and then there's water down there so it's buffered off we can't nothing's marked it's marked right to the edge of it nothing's marked it's just a strip runs out along the edge of this field pretty much everything's leaning out in that field which makes it tough we got to try to push them and pull them but they're big trees so it's worth it some of the ones out there close to the edge you can see how high stumps that one Got wire in it. Got young buck today. He's over there topping. It's a long skid. We gotta go all the way around the field. We set up the third landing now. We're on the third landing. So it's a long skid, but it ain't much in here. So I think this will this, this uh, going out through there should go pretty quick. I think. Young buck. He's off his game today. <laughs> He's frustrated. Wave. <laughs> Everybody has them days. All right, today I'm definitely gonna get video cutting with the 500i. I got time today. I'm cutting by myself. I don't have my help for topping, so. And we, like I say, we're still on a long skid. So I have some time to take some video cutting with that new saw. I really like it. I'm really impressed. It, uh, watch it, I like the throttle response, man. When you pull the trigger on that saw, it's immediate. It's right there. It's wide open right away. And where it lacks in power from the 661, it makes up for it tenfold in, in weight. So I'm going to cut. I'm going to get some video cutting with it today. And then this weekend, 
I'm gonna put the bark box on I got from West Coast Saws. I did buy a bark box for it. It's supposed to bump her up a little bit. So I'm gonna put that on this weekend and then next week try to get some video cutting with it. Put the bark box on and we'll you know, see how much of a difference it makes. But uh, so yeah, we're gonna get after it. Enough weight in the top of it to go. Only time will tell, I guess. I had to wait for her to start to go and then when i went to go file it off <laughs> went to go jay in the bar in there and she just bing, train popped right off her that's a good tree that's a good tree see the old 500 i had to keep up with that 661 you keep the chain on obviously all right let's get a couple more i never even know we peeled the side of it out look at that camouflaged her right up don't tell nobody. Yep, it's a good one. I'm going to put an edge on this thing. I hit the dirt a little bit on that last tree. That tree there fell in the swamp. I'm cutting it off. Boogered up my edge a little bit. These 500 eyes are still hard to get. I'm, I was on a waiting list for shoot, almost two years, I guess, for... From the Amish guy up there at Peach Bottom where we get, I get all my stuff from. I get all my bars and chains and saw parts and stuff like that. He gives you a discount if you buy in bulk. So I normally try to go up there about once a month or so and stock the service truck up with saw parts. And But I called up there the other day because I, I got one because I wasn't sure if I was going to like it. And let me tell you, I love it. This thing you can get one you cut timber every day if you can get your hands on one get your hands on one but i called up there the other day and i was first on the list before but i called up there the other day to get back on the list because i wanted another one and um and there's there's still 10 people in front of me now it's i think he got when he got this one in they got 
I think he said he got seven or eight of them in and he offered two of them to me then but I you know I wasn't sure if I was going to like it or not I mean everybody else I talked to said they love it but you know we cut well we cut a mixture of timber but we do cut a lot of big timber and I just I was worried whether or not I was going to like it or not but I do it's the bee's knees if you ain't got one get one I'll get this edge put on here and we'll go kill a couple more. hickory peels the sides of hickory will peel right out of there pretty easy so what i do is i cut my notch in there right and then whatever side i'm gonna leave off on so i started on this side over here so whatever side i'm gonna leave off on i score that bark go in the wood a little bit and anyway, as it starts coming over if i can't keep up with it it won't peel the whole side of the tree out you know the old 500 eye does good man i gotta give it to it i'm impressed hickories there they're extra trees that's why they got little dots on the butts the bottom of them keeps them that way when they get to the yard the guy was cutting it for knows they're extra landowner wanted to cut a few more uh, 
his trees and once we cut them, we'll cut them. But they're not marked, so they weren't tallied. So, but obviously you got paid for So we put little blue dots on the butt something like that. We like that one there, it's got a little blue dot. Like I say, when they'll get to the yard, we, we paint the tree itself. The bark's falling off of it so bad, we won't be able to see the marks. So. When they unload them at the yard, they put them separate. Then they'll tally them up. It's windy today. Oh man, that's my spray paint can. Well, it didn't hurt nothing at least, that's good. See, that's the only problem when you cut them off like that. You cut this whole side off. I don't, you know, you're not leaving a hinge over there and come around, but it is what it is. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.